I'm Ardelia de Ogesla, English Department Student Batch 2018, University of Lambu Mangkurat. Here, I'm gonna review about sense and its relation based on my understandings from both videos that has been uploaded. So, both videos explain the semantic field to define meaning as something important categorized in the context of conceptual or cognitive meaning. Various sense connections which hold between the lexical items search linguistically. System of its relationship, as mentioned in the video, categorically express itself in terms synonymy, antonymy, homon sorry, homonymy, hyponymy, and polysemy, and color terms for the matter paper. Although some statements are less significant, but each of this, um, sorry, but each of these items announce a distinctive features like uh, both videos and with a conclusion uh, that reveals the relationship between sense and sense relation in linguistic with this subtle semantic aspect. Uh, so, again, from the first video, it can be concluded that sense is the meaning of each different expressions in the context of its use, especially expression are related and what expression are contradict contradictory. Every word is meaningful because there is a relationship between each word. Then, art of the relationship is seen when the word is used and it will be appeared when it has whether direct relationship or not. These relationships holding between vocabulary items like do not carry with them perceptions about the existence of objects and properties outside the vocabulary of the language in questions. Again, uh, next material from the video uh, that I took is synonymy. Synonymy is a semantic relationship between two worlds which have the same or really the same meaning. Referring to its short definition, synonymy is another word which has the same meaning. Two expressions A and B in the same syntactic posi positions are synonymous if A implies B and B implies A. Thus, Synonym sorry, presuppose the substitutions of expressions given in all contexts. These expressions has the same denotational meaning and connotations and it called a complete synonym. However, most synonyms are partial synonyms and differ with respect to their connotations. Meanwhile, an antonyms, antonyms like synonyms are sense relationship to but they stand for lexical that have opposing, opposing names or opposition names. It is hard to pin down the oppositions of antonyms as the sameness of synonyms but oppositions is enclosed within sameness. There are many kinds of antonymy, which as gradable an antonymy, non-gradable antonymy, markedness antonymy, incompatible antonymy, and relational antonymy. Gradable antonymy deals with the level of words. It means that three, sorry, it means that there is something or anything between. Complementary antonymy is the meaning of the world is absolute, not relative or reserved to gradable type. There is only one possibility of meaning which is fixed. There is no intermediate ground between two of them. Next, according to the name of this type, relational anatomy between the two words have the relations, for instance, parents and child. Someone can be called parents if she or he doesn't have child, and vice versa. 
to summarize, one exists only because the the other does. Next, hyponymy, which may be defined as the inclusion of the meaning of lexical items, is a fundamental sense of relations sense. Cla classes of lexical items are established according to the relationship they hold between them. By, pre by preparing an implication, you will arrive the mark and unmark members of a certain class. Thus, one of the semantic relationship that is derived by preparing is called hyponomy. Next, semantic also has a meronym. In semantics, a meronym is a word that denotes a constituent part or a member of something. For example, apples is a meronym of apple tree, sometimes written as apple trees. This part to whole relationship is called meronym, or in adjective called meronymous. Meronymy is not just a single relation but a bundle of different parts to whole relationships next homonymy homonymy is the conditions where two words or lexemes have the same form but differ in meaning in this case or condition a home a homonym homonym is an ambiguous word having different sense which are far apart from each other and not up Obviously related to each other in any way. Example: case means legal problem as a casus and a kind of back like copper. The last is polysemy. Polysemy is a kind of sense relations where a lexeme has more than one meaning. This condition results from the overlapping of informations or meanings contained by a lexeme. There are several factors which contribute to, or to the origins of polysemy. First, type of applications. Second, use for specific purpose. Third, use in meta metaphorical or figurative expressions. And fourth, is influence of foreign language. And the example of a polysemy is found means establish or mendirikan and melt and pour into a mold or mencetak so maybe that's all of my reviews for both video that has been uploaded i'm really sorry if there are some mistakes according to my understanding about this material thank you so much for your attention and for watching these videos i hope we guys are understand enough and to be a expert in semantic thank you so much again thank you guys see you next time